Hey everybody, how you doing? This is Six from Blues Against Hunger Society, and we have a real treat today. We're a Toronto-based international recording artist, blues guitarist, songwriter, singer, great singer, by the way, I might add, great guitar player, and a producer, and a three-time Maple Blues Award nominee. So welcome to the show. Thank you so much for joining us today. I want to talk to you uh, about your album because I really like it quite a bit. It's a wonderful album. Um, it shows an amazing diversity. Oh, my goodness. It's, it's, it really it pulls in and crosses genres and decades, for that matter. I mean, it, but it pulls them all together and strings them all together very, very nicely. So, so I want to, but before we get right into a morning star, can we back up a little bit and just kind of give me a, 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 just a, a, a quick cliff notes maybe on the process of what got you to morning star with your first three albums? I mean, is, was there a learning process along the way or some things you learned that got you to what cre helped to create morning star? Yeah, I think, um, I think it was 2010 when my, my first record came out and, and I was, uh, people might be surprised to know I was, I was only, I was already 35 at that point. Um, and uh, so I'm kind of a late bloomer, but the first record came out cause it was, you know, after doing session work and being just sort of, you know, playing locally and blues jams and blues cover bands and all that kind of stuff in order to really do what I, what I felt I needed to do. I needed to write my own songs you know, which sounds like common sense, but when you're at a certain point in your career, you don't realize, I mean, you not, might not realize that. So um, 2010, first um, album of original material. And then from there, th opportunities started coming up. And, you know, we, the other two albums were 13 and 17. And all the while, I think the, th the common thread through all of them was, yeah, we were learning. I always had a co-producer. And on this Morningstar, I, I had a, an incredible um, co-producer, uh, Who's well known in Canada who really took it to the next level. Um, Derek Down. So from when you went from the first release, your first release, that was all, was that you 100%? You did you produce it yourself and, and record it yourself and do all that? I co produced it with my mixing engineer at the time. But the interesting thing about that record is that I wasn't singing on it, I only sang on one track. I wasn't very confident in my vocal ability then. And oh. Um, I, I pushed myself after that to start singing and then been singing since. But I at that time, I just knew that I had to hire um, a really top notch vocalist to come in and do the tracks and try and take that approach. But, you know, that can only get you so far. And so since then, I've just been developing a, a more of a, a well-rounded sort of package of things to, to put forward, you know. Well, it sounds so, like that might even been like the precursor to what you did with Morningstar by bringing in and collaborating with with other artists. So, I mean, that's right. so was, yeah. like, you had that you were doing it from day one. So uh, so better for you then with. So how did better, better for you segue in? I mean, how was that the next one? Was there any influences that followed you from the first album into the next one? Or did you start clean and say, I'm going to whole new sound? I think with this one, I mean, there's two sides to my music. There's the, you know, the personal stories. All my music comes from, you know, personal stories in my life. At that point, uh, my first son was three and I was in marriage and I was, you know, I was thinking sort of, you know, better for you. The title had referred to the fact that I might have been getting a little too selfish with my music and sort of wanting to give back and make things better for my, my wife at the time. Um, you know, always singing about family, really. And, and personal experience musically we wanted to move into um i guess you know more almond brothers kind of stuff and you know maybe um you know get deeper into each of the genres maybe we just touched on i think if you look at the four records you got a surf the first record we tried a bunch of stuff the second record we go deeper into a bunch of different genres the third record you go even deeper to a bunch of genres and this one i don't know how the hell it happened but we, we went really deep into even more genres so i don't know I don't know how, why it's come out. I, I think I just love music. I don't know. I just like to do all this stuff. And I would be very, I would get very, um, uh, I don't want to say bored, but I'm not just going to do, just do blues and just do sort of 12 bar blues at that, you know, blues is the basis for me, but, 
and it's my root and I love it. But I always like to try. Oh, it and gives you it. so much. I mean, it gives you that strong foundation from which yeah. to go in any direction you wish. That's right. And, and That's you right. did. And you did in so many. Uh, 